the top five snack cakes of all time. At number five, we have Ding Dongs. Now, despite the name that makes immature people giggle, these were the original cream-filled chocolate cakes. So simple, but yet so magnifique. At number four, we have strawberry shortcakes, and these were damn near refreshing. That strawberry marmalade with the little sweet cream and that little bit of delicate cake gets my nipples hard every single time. At number three, we have the honey buns, and some of you know that this is a certified hood classic, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. At number two, we have the Nutty Buddy. Do you want a snack cake or do you want a candy bar? Bitch, we live in America, you don't have to choose. These are an American dream and I never wanna wake up. I think we all knew the oatmeal cream pie would hold this spot. So wholesome, so nostalgic. I'm getting wet just thinking about it. The top five worst side dishes of all time. At number five, we have the canned cranberry sauce. Now, I will eat this if it's given to me, but as I eat it, I will hang my head in shame and be sure not to make eye contact with anybody. At number four, we have corn pudding. Now, another one that I will nibble at if you give it to me, but it's called corn pudding. At number three, we have creamed spinach. Now, I am convinced that this was created as a, some sort of punishment for kids, but there's a weird subsection of humans that actually like this shit. At number two, we have glazed carrots, and I get the idea. You put enough honey and herbs and spices on anything, and it could be edible, but at what point are we just shining up a turd? And at number one, we have green bean casserole. Now, I don't know what kind of unseasoned Martha Stewart haberdashery bullshit this is, but this dish makes my ass itch. The top five chips of all time. At number five, we have chili cheese Fritos. The perfect Tex-Mex twist makes it feel like a little Spanish cowboy is dancing on your tongue. I know that's weird, move on. At number four, we have Sun Chips. These are healthy and they're delicious. They are the guilt reliever. The next time you're at Subway and you get that double meat, double cheese, add bacon, grab a bag of these, they'll make anything better. At number three, we have the classic Cheetos. I know everyone loves their little flaming hot counterpart, but these hold nostalgia in my heart and I'm pretty sure they hold it in yours too. At number two, we have a wild card, sour cream and onion lays. Now stick with me for a minute. They're delicate, they're tangy. If you're not hip, go grab a bag and get hip. You all knew what this was going to be. At number one, we have the nacho cheese Doritos. It don't get no better. The top five candy bars of all time. At number five, we have Reese's Cups. I've said it once and I'll say it again, you can't go wrong with chocolate and peanut butter. The only reason it's so low on the list is the portion size. At number four, we have the Kit Kat. The Kit Kat is on this list because it combines the candy experience and the cookie experience. Yum yum in my tum tum, no more needs to be said. At number three, we have the Symphony Bar. Now, a lot of people don't even know this exists, but I assure you, it is the creamiest, the most delicate, and the smoothest chocolate experience you could ever have, next to me, of course. At the penultimate spot, we have the Take Five Bar. Take my sentiment about the Reese's Cup and multiply it by 2.5. Add pretzels, add caramel, and boy, you should not be surprised this is number one. The creamy chocolate, the soft nougat, the gooey caramel, the salty nuts, it's a party. The top five frozen pizzas of all time. At number five, we have Newman's Own. Sometimes you don't need the bells and whistles. Sometimes you just need some crust, some sauce, and greasy ass cheese, and this delivers tenfold. At number four, we have Stouffer's French Bread Pizza. Something magical happens when you combine garlic bread with pizza. Got me feeling a little Italiano in the fattest way possible. At number three, we have Totino's Party Pizza, and this is on here for nostalgia alone. When I was a little kid, my little black ass would wake up at 3 a.m. to put one of these in the oven. Always a banger. At number two, we have the Red Baron Deep Dish Pizza. Fun-sized, but hearty. One of the most satisfying bites of pizza you will ever have. I bet your mama on it. And at number one, we have Totino's Pizza Rolls, and I know what you're saying, but this is my list, so bite me. Tell me you don't love pizza rolls. Tell me you don't love the top five school cafeteria foods of all time. And at number five, we have tater tots. Now, Napoleon knew exactly what he was doing when he stuffed these in his little nasty-ass pockets. These are nuggets of gold. And at number four, we have those cafeteria burgers. Now, to this day, I don't trust a sandwich if it's not wrapped in foil with the cheese halfway off the damn sandwich. It's just something about it. At number three, we have those little cup juices. Get you one of these, and it's just like halfway frozen. That's damn near refreshing, baby. 
At number two, we have those tostadadadas or whatever the fuck you call them. Little hexagons or octagons. I don't know what the fuck they were. I don't give a fuck about geometry. I give a fuck about lunch. And these were the main character. I think we all knew that the square-ass pizza was gonna reign supreme on this list. These were bartering items. I'll trade you everything on my plate for a bite of this square-ass pizza. Yum yum. This is what we're not going to do. We don't need everything to be flaming hot. It started with the flaming hot Cheetos. We we all love them. Okay, flowers, flowers, flowers. Okay. Then we got flaming hot Lay's, flaming hot Ruffles. You you can't you can't save Ruffles. Flaming hot Doritos, and they don't need saving. They they were already the goat. But then you fucks went too damn far. You got flaming hot mac and cheese with your trifling asses, and flaming hot Mountain Dew. You godless clucks. Our butt cavities don't stand a chance. The top three fast food French fries of all time. At number three, we have McDonald's fries. Sometimes being a basic bitch is being the best bitch. These are straight to the point, no thrills, no flair. These get the job done in a spectacular way. At number two, we have Rally Slash Checkers. You're not gonna beat that crispy crunch of biting into these fries. You're not gonna beat that peppery kick either. Um, I just wish the employees had better attitudes, but I can overlook that. And at number one, we have Arby's fries. Now, I will admit that I've given Arby's a lot of flack in the past, but they are on the up and up. But one thing that has always been consistent is their fries. These fries have been consistent, true, and steadfast as your favorite side piece. You love to see it. The top three bar foods of all time. At number three, we have mozzarella sticks. You tell me you don't like fried cheese and I'll call you a goddamn liar. You got the crispy batter, the oozy cheese, and the perfect little bit is when you get the little torn hernia on the side of the stick and the cheese starts to ooze out. That's a party. At number two, we have sliders. Who doesn't love a little bite-sized burger the size of the palm of your hand? It's fucking cute. It's date food. Take your significant other out to the bar and get fucking sliders. The love story writes itself. And at number one, we have chicken wings. Let me paint the scene out for you. It's you, your boys, or maybe your girls, or maybe your theys and thems, and you're, you have a nice pint of something cold and frosty in front of you, and you also have some motherfucking chicken wings. That's a bro story if I ever heard one, and someone's gonna end up missing on a roof in Vegas. But you know what? We want that. The top five side dishes of all time. At number five, we have garlic mashed potatoes. Zesty, creamy, a little chunky if you do it right. The perfect accompaniment to any dish. At number four, we have collard greens. A certified hood classic. Get Big Mama to do them right with a little bit of hog maul or some turkey necks, and this is a southern staple. At number three, we have green bean casserole. Just kidding, this shit sucks. At the true number three, we have baked beans, a barbecue staple. Get the right amount of spice and the right amount of sweetness, and I guarantee your tongue will do things you never knew it could do. At number two, we have al gratin potatoes, and so many people tend to sleep on this. Imagine a cheesy potato lasagna. I dare you or your mama to tell me that doesn't sound good. And at number one, we have baked macaroni and cheese. Words could never do it justice, so I'll leave you with this. Top 5 Cereals of All Time At number 5 we have Rice Krispie Treat Cereal. It is literally just Rice Krispie Treats crumbled up and you eat it as cereal. But damn it, it is one of the most satisfying bites you will ever have in the cereal world. It is a banger. At number 4 we have Honey Nut Cheerios. Yes, do not at me. It is sweet, it fills you up, and it is the healthiest thing we're gonna have on this damn list. So take it, it's a banger. At number three, we have Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs needs no explanation. Anything chocolate and peanut butter is automatically going to be at the top tier of any list it's on. It's a banger. In the pan ultimate spot, we have Cocoa Puffs, another one that needs no explanation. It's one of the most satisfyingly chocolate cereals, and it also makes your milk chocolate. <coughs> Bitch, it's a banger. Is anyone surprised that CTC has the ultimate spot? From the marketing, the branding, the taste, the texture, everything is on point. The ultimate Banger Cheese. The top three pizza chains of all time. At number three, we have Little Caesars. Now, I'm not saying it's the best tasting pizza out here, but it's a great combination of budget and taste. These little $5 hot and ready's have gotten many of us through tough times, so it's on the list. Deal with it. At number two, we have California Pizza. They make the list because of the unique combinations you're not gonna find anywhere else, and they're a little they're a little bougie, I get it, but you know what? Fuck it, we need to be bougie every once in a while. They're on the list. 
And at number one, we have Domino's. Now listen here, I don't want to hear your fucking voice about Pizza Hut. Uh, what about Pizza Hut? What, what about me? Don't even fucking say Papa John's in my fucking presence. Domino's is the quintessential pizza experience, and I don't want to hear you run your dirty little mouth about anything else.